Hey everyone, today's video I'm going to be comparing Canada Dry products. The ones on the left are from the 1980s and the ones on the right are brand new that I just bought from the store. The reason I know those are from the 80s is because I looked up what bottles looked like in the 80s, but also the reason I know is because you turn this around. There are no nutrition facts anywhere on it. It just says ingredients, which means it has to be from the 80s because in 1990, the Nutrition Labeling Act was put into place, which made companies have to put that stuff on there. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up a container of each, and I'm going to be taste testing it today. To be taste testing this, I even have the cups that are super old and vintage right here. These cups I got here, they're really old. It says 58 cents. You can't buy that many cups for 58 cents anymore. And it even says up here, whoever bought them, they got them three for a dollar. They got three of these big styrofoam cup packs for one dollar. And they are completely sealed end to end. Never opened before. I don't know how old they are. Possibly 80s, 70s, but these here, you see how the container is all swelled and stuff, or I should say imploded? It's because when the carbonation is gone, they implode because there's no longer pressure keeping them inflated. I'm going to go over really quickly, show each of the containers, show the labeling. At the end of the video, I will have side-by-side -side comparison of all the ingredients that have changed and stayed the same. First up, the old one. As you see, it's caffeine-free. Both of them are caffeine-free. And if you see the logo right there, the logo changed a little bit. You see how the crown is actually raised above it and the new crown is green. And also the continents on the new one are yellow. The continents on this one were green. Let's go ahead and turn this around just a bit. You see it has the barcode, it has the bottle deposit, but there are no nutrition facts to be found anywhere on this. You turn right here and you can get a look at the ingredients. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Here we go with a new container, also caffeine free. 100% natural flavors on both of them. Canada Dry does not use artificial flavoring. Now here's the back of it, all the important stuff. Go ahead, zoom in on that just a little bit so anyone wants to read any of that stuff there. Everything's pretty much the same. Now I'm going to get down to opening these up and taste testing them. Okay, this is one of the old containers. I wanted to show this because this is kind of awesome. The top of it is not airtight and this happened you see it's like a really thick syrup because all the water was able to evaporate now you just got all the soda syrup so I'm gonna be going and putting a little of this onto a plate and taste testing that too okay so here I go I'm gonna open up the old cups take one out for each of the products So these cups, have these changed at all? Not really, except they're made locally because they're old. It says made in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So first I'm going to open up one of the old ones. It should automatically inflate. Yep, there was a big vacuum on that. Let's get a smell. It's not carbonated anymore. It's now flat. Open a new one. A lot of carbonation you hear. Let's compare the smells. Actually, the old one smells sweeter. They're both not bad. They're basically the same. It's probably the carbonation messing with my nose. Let's pour some into a cup. Pour some of the new one into a cup. You can really see the carbonation in there. Now, let's put the cover of this one back on. Now, let's, I'm going to get a look at these. 
The new one is a little bit darker than the old one, if you can even make that out on the camera. The old one is lighter. Let's go ahead and get a taste test of this, the older one. Not bad at all. Super sweet. No mustiness got into it. Not bad at all. Now, the new one. A lot of car carbonation. It's a bit stronger as far as ginger. A little bit more bitter. The old one's not bad. It's got to be the sugar added to it. I think the old one has more sugar. There's something different about it. I can't really tell. Now, let's get some of that syrup from the one that did evaporate. Also, that smells really sweet. It actually kind of smells like maple syrup in a way. You see how thick it is coming out of there? It's just like pancake syrup or something like that. I wonder how that will taste. It's like the honey consistency. Super sweet, not bad. Not bad at all. For anybody buying these sodas, when you get these things, you should always cut the holes out of them just in case some animal gets their hold of these. They don't get stuck in them and strangled. It's always a good idea to cut all the holes out of these. You want to be safe. Just in case that ends up in the ocean, nothing will get hurt on it. Now I'm going to compare the ingredients. Okay, so here's the ingredient comparison. They both start off with carbonated water. Then, the second ingredient on the new one is high fructose corn syrup. The second ingredient on the old one is sugar and or high fructose corn syrup. So it could have both or it could have one or the other. So maybe this was a year that they changed their batch. Then after that, citric acid. Then, this one here, it goes to sodium benzenate, which is a preservative. The other one has it too, but it's down a little bit on the list. It has natural flavors before that. The other one has less natural flavors, as it would appear. And the last thing on both of them is called caramel coloring. The old one says coloring. The new one just says color. In the future, should I make a video taking old soda brands with the new soda brands putting them in a frying pan and boiling them down until they're into a syrup, waiting for all the water to evaporate. I've seen other people online make videos of boiling down soda to see what's left over and how it tastes, but I've never seen a video boiling down vintage sodas, like comparing what is left over afterwards. 